to create a new route in Strava, you need to go to Dashboard, My Routes, and then you get a selection on your screen. You may well have no routes on there. Here are the routes that I've created. I'm going to hit Create a New Route. And then this is your pane where you can then design any routes for your that you want to go through to your Garmin. So I'm going to choose a running route. You can choose a riding route. I like to choose the follow most popular rather than the most direct because that will mean Strava will select the the routes that most people will run down and that usually is is the best way to go and um, you could choose depending on the type of run you want to do to maximize or minimize your elevation you might want a flat route or you might want a hilly route and then the surface type this is really good you can choose to run on roads paved surfaces or choose to run on dirt surfaces so if I'm going to start here, this is down in St Albans, and I'm going to create a route. So I'm going to start here by the lake in Verulanium Park. I think I'm going to run up to uh, here. And then it creates this nice little route. And so it's chosen the most popular. Uh, and it's chosen the, I'm going to choose minimize elevation. It doesn't actually change it there. I've only got a five meter uh, gain and loss. So the key thing you can see here is when it has got this dashed white and red line, that means um, that it is a dirt track. And when it is solid orange, it means that it is orange. It is a road. So you can see that this has a mixture of off-road and on-road tracks. Now that might be useful to you because in winter you might want to avoid the mud and in summer you might want to enjoy the trails. So I'm going to click further up here and we're going to go around and create this little track and back to the finish. So here I've done, here I've got a 10 kilometer run that I've created. If I'm not happy with it, if I don't want to go on this road, I can drag this little icon here and it will reroute me through that way. Um, and you can just adjust it to match whether or not you would, um, that's what you like to do. So if I prefer the dirt surfaces, there you are, it can reroute certain areas, or if I want to prefer the road, it will reroute it that way. The dark blue lines you see are what's called the global heat map on there and they are the most popular routes that people take when running. If I take those off you just get the normal um, the normal uh, roads and routes on there. The other thing you might want to choose is the show segment. So if you want to go segment chasing you can put the segments on there and reroute yourself over some of the segments. I'm now going to click save give it a name, you can call it this an Albans 10K, make it visible. And there we are, I have now saved that in my routes. Now, to get that to my Garmin, there's one more key thing that I need to do, and that is I have to star it there. Anything that I star when I come to sync with my Garmin will mean that it automatically syncs across. Garmin Connect, click on your three lines at the top left, if you go down to uh, training and courses, you can see there we've got the St Albans 10K that we created, the Danny Bryson route that I copied from somebody else's profile, and then the Roundwood Lane Harpent and Luton course, which I created in the Strava app using their suggested routes. So the last thing to check is that it has gone through to your Garmin. So if you go and start a run, as you normally would, go down to, I'm going to go down and check, navigation, courses, 
There we are. There's the Danny Bryson root that we just put on. Uh, we need to find the Harpenden one. These ones are in alphabetical order um, rather than um, in the order of date. So there is the Roundwood Lane to Harpenden one we put on and there is the St Albans one that we created. So they are all ready to go. All that in less than three or four minutes.